Three area teams played Thursday in the state semifinals down at Huntington Park for baseball. Wapakoneta making the trip down today, trying to get to the state championship game on Saturday at 4 p.m. in Columbus. You know, Wapakoneta, they had a lot of games that were rained out and snowed out and just weathered out before they even were able to play many games in the first half of their season. But here they are trying to get to the final game of the season on Saturday. Redskins fired up, taking the field with a ton of community support, looking to make it to the finals. Gage Shank on the mound for the skin strikes out not one, not two, but all three batters to fan the side one, two, three to start the game. Shank doing his thing again in the second as he K's hitters five and six. He gets five quick strikeouts here. He was cruising. Top of the third. Two runners on for Circleville. Look at the quick glove of Brady Herb. Makes the catch. Steps on first. Unassisted double play. Stops the rally. Bottom three. Joel Rediger lays the skins. Third successful bunt in a row down. That loads the bases. Back to back to back bunts. Then it's Don Goods. RBI single into left field. Scores AJ Campos. Redskins go up one to nothing. Wapakoneta not done yet. Wyatt Moiler. Ground ball single down the third base line. Two more Redskins plate. Jeff Maker and Redigers cross the plate, making it three to nothing in the second with the hit is Moiler. No, not the white tarp. Here it comes an hour rain delay, and Columbus stalls the game in the bottom of the third. But we go back to action, and Wapak's back at it. Mitch Apple walked before the same thing happens to Bubba Miller. A run comes across. It's a 4 to nothing lead for the Redskins. Shank wanting to get involved with the sticks. He gets a sack fly to right. Moiler is coming home. Wapakoneta leads 5 to nothing. Number one team in the state for a reason. Now on the fourth, runners up first and second. Moiler drives in another one as Maker crosses the plate. It's a 6 to nothing lead. And the Redskins just looking to wrap this one up. No scoring till the seventh. Circleville gets on the board, but Shank finishes the game just like he started it with a strikeout. Sending Wapakoneta to the state championship game for Division II, 7 p.m. Saturday night. A 6-1 victory for Coach Jason Brant and company. As a coach, you never know when or if you'll get back to the state championship. So, you know, you try to take it in and, and just enjoy the moment and telling these kids the same way. But, um, you know, these kids came out loose and relaxed from the get-go. Might be a different scenario tomorrow night because it's a little bit bigger uh, stakes. But, you know, it's just an awesome feeling to be back. You know, we're going we're gonna to play it with everything we have and leave it on the field. Yeah, like I said, Gage, Gage has been special for us. I think that was his 17th win in his career for us, 9-0 this year. Um, he should be playing next year at some good program. Uh, somebody needs to pick him up. Um, but he is our, he's a competitor. He's a guy that's going to give us everything he has. And like I told the other guys, he's going to be uh, really missed after tomorrow night. Oh, I was feeling good, especially in the beginning. That rain delay was kind of frustrating because I was in a roll, but I just had to go back there, stay loose, and come back out here. And once I got back on the mound, got a few pitches, I was feeling it again. Oh, uh, they, they honestly stayed in here. They went back in the – they stayed in. Most of them stayed here in the dugout, but they went – some of them went back and just relaxed back in the cages, just sitting around playing a little flip. Um, and then we came out and we were able to tack on two more after the rain delay. Uh, that was huge. And then Gage came out and only threw like six pitches in the top of the fourth. And that just shut down any momentum, I think, that Circleville even had. We all just stayed calm, didn't let it phase us. We just went out there again, played the game again. We knew it was just another step. We couldn't let that, that one little thing change our game, so we went out there and competed. Me and Coach Coyle, the pitching coach, and then our trainer were back there just doing uh, J-bands and weighted balls and stretching me out and rolling me out. And I, it was tough, but I, I've never had to deal with anything like that before, but it worked out fine. Jay did the, the bun on his own, so that was huge. And then with, with Joel coming, or uh, um, Jet coming up, we decided to go ahead and bun him up, and, and Jet put it in a great, great spot where nobody could field it. And then it's automatic, first and second, nobody out. And Joel threw a great bunt down the third base side to, to set it up and turn it over for the top of our order. So the first one was on AJ, the next two were on us, but. Great job with the execution. 
again, we just trusted it, trusted each other, played for each other, went out there and competed at a high level, and I'm just really excited we got to make it back to state, state finals. Oh, it was great. I remember, I remember I was sitting right over there and watched both games. It was just a great experience, and at that time I knew I wanted to make it here one day just because I saw the great experience they were having and all the fun they were having, and it's just a blast being here. You know, we just never go out there thinking we're going to lose. We're always on top of the game. Strike first, it's the way we do it, so we're just going to continue to do that and pound away.